Hi there. I uh, sorry about the wait. I um I wanted to go back upstairs and talk with that guard, make sure that I was reading my paperwork right there, and that she wasn't just playing some trick on me. But it looks like she was right. There's a human in that point. <laughs> Would you like of that? I never thought I'd live to see the day. Well, I suppose that's being a bit dramatic. But it has been quite a while. Quite a while. Since, uh, since I've seen a human around here. Not to worry, it all works mostly the same. So we'll get you in and out in no problem. Now, um, thank you for having a seat already. Definitely much easier for me to actually examine you if you're, you know, down at my level. <laughs> it's, um, chair's a bit short for you, isn't it? Well, feel free to, you know, stretch out your legs wherever. I'll, I'll step around them, but hopefully they won't get too uncomfortable. If you need a break at all, if you need to get up and stretch, you let me know, all right? All right, sounds good. So what we're going to do here, it's, um, it's actually relatively simple, nothing... Nothing too terrible to, to worry about, but we're going to start out just asking some questions. Mostly just sort of general health questions. See how you're doing, making sure that you haven't been uh, haven't been sick or anything like that, you know. And, and also making sure that you're going to be all right living underground for a while. <laughs> it is, um, it's a different way of life, so... We just want to make sure that all of our visitors are, you know, amply prepared. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll start out with that and then we'll move into the examination portion of it. And for that, I'm mostly just going to be checking to make sure that everything's working the way it's supposed to be working. You know what I mean? <laughs> mostly we'll be focusing on uh, here up, really. Your, your, your vision, your hearing, things like that, your, your, your muscles in your face, and then I'll be testing your, your shoulders, arms and legs, things like that. That's really nothing to be concerned about, but it is just standard that we make sure that everyone that comes into the city is uh, healthy and prepared. So, how does that sound? Good, good. Not to worry, we'll we'll get you in and out of here in uh, no time, all right? All right, so let's start with some of those questions, shall we? Not too many of them, just, just a few here. All right, good. Now, for the record, could you confirm your name and city of origin for me? All right, good. Whisperwind, where is that exactly? I've never heard of that. Oh, all right. I bet it's lovely this time of year there, eh? Yeah, tough winter, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, have you ever visited Napwin before? I'm going to say that's a resounding no from you. All right. Um, have you ever spent a prolonged amount of time underground before? No. Okay. Well, oh no, 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 it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not any sort of requirement or anything like that. We just um, want to make sure that you sort of know what to expect. It's different living underground than it is living on the surface. Now, we, we do our best here to make things comfortable for people. I mean, we live down here. We don't want it to be dark and dingy all the time, would you? No, of course not. So... You will notice when you when you go through the doors over there down the hallway after this, you'll notice that if you look up, tucked in between all of the different stalactites on the ceiling of the cave, you'll notice all of these glowing red crystals. And those are, um, they were made by some different alchemists that live down here. And they help to sort of simulate the light of the sun. Now it's not as powerful, it never gets quite as bright as a sunny day up on the surface, but I think you'll notice that they do a good job of making it feel warm and bright 
during during the daytime and we can actually uh, control them too which is very nice so we can dim them a bit at night time so it still sort of simulates day and night just like you would expect yeah so that's really nice um and then we've also got um We've got some, you know, torches and hearths and lanterns and everything all over the place. There's, there's all kinds of things that make it, make it nice and lovable. We've also got um, people down here that have developed a type of food, a type of plant that doesn't need the sunlight to grow, which is very nice. So um, it, it does just take a body a bit of time to adjust sometimes. Now, we dwarves, we are people of the earth, so it, it doesn't always take us all that long to, to acclimate to life underground. But people like humans, it, it uh, can sometimes take a bit of time. At least you're not an elf, right? Oh, those elves were such babies about it when they were living here before. They always were complaining about not seeing their trees and the stars and all that. Anyway, Luckily, at least, at least they're not an elf. So, uh, just, you know, take, take some time. Make sure that the first few days that you're here, you're just sort of taking it easy. Make sure you're drinking plenty. And not at the tavern, like actually drinking water, please. Eating healthy, you know, those sorts of things. And should you happen to feel yourself, you know, just not feel like yourself or, or you know, get, get a lack of energy or something like that, you come back and see me and we'll, uh, we'll take care of you, all right? All right, I'm here to help, I really am. So, all right. Now, have you had any major health concerns in the past three moons or so? Okay, any sort of a sickness that has left you bedridden for more than, you know, say a day or two, or uh, any major injuries, or strange, you know, rashes or something like that, anything like that. Okay. All right, do you have a history of trouble breathing, or, or dizziness, dizzy spells, things like that? Sometimes it Adjusting to the air quality down here is a bit different. Now we do have, you know, a, have a filter system that keeps everything relatively fresh, but you know, it's not the wide open air up there, so sometimes it's just a bit different. Okay. What about a, um, a loss of consciousness? Any, any sort of fainting spells or losing time, things like that? Okay. Just making sure. All right, have you experienced any unusual skin conditions in the last three moons? You know, lumps, bumps, spots, anything like that? Okay, good, good. All right, anything else you think we should know that might, uh, might, uh, alter your time here and that one. Okay. Nothing too difficult there then. Like I said, if anything changes or, you know, anything at all, you start to not feel yourself, you, you come back and see me. I say that to all the dwarves who come through here too, but uh, sometimes we dwarves are just we're so stubborn that we don't like to ask for help, you know, unless we desperately, desperately need it. But I'm really here for anything. It doesn't have to be something big and life-threatening. You need something, I'm here, all right? All right, good. All right, well, uh, let's get on to the um, examination part of everything. Like I said, it's really nothing, nothing too intense. I will, though, uh, I'll be needing to touch you just a bit on, you know, touch your face, your neck, shoulders, arms, things like that. Is that, is that all right with you? All right, good, thank you. Shouldn't be anything, you know, uncomfortable. If you do feel any pain or discomfort, you let me know right away and we'll stop, all right? 
Right, sounds good. So I'm going to start out just sort of feeling around the structure of your face just a bit. Feeling, you know, your cheekbones and, you know, the area around your eyes and nose. Just sort of gently press them. You shouldn't feel any discomfort. If you do, you let me know right away, all right? All right. All right. No discomfort when I press right there. Good, good. So make sure everything's working as it should be. Everything's in its proper place. I'm going to press up by your temples here real quick. No discomfort. Good, good. Yeah, everything looks good there. Good. Nice, strong cheekbones. Good, solid jaw. Alrighty. Yeah, nothing, nothing worrisome there. Alright, now, got this fancy little light here. This is a Something one of the inventors down here made me. So this is going to shine a light. It's, a, it's sort of bright. A bit bright there. I'm just going to look into your eyes. Make sure everything looks alright, okay? So, could you just cover one eye for me? Just perfect like that. Alright, now just look right at my nose right there, okay? I'm just going to shine this. See? Just like that, okay? Alright. Okay, good. Alright, could you look up for me? Alright, could you look that way over there? Thanks. Alright, now look that way. Alright, now look down. Perfect. Alright, now why don't you cover that other eye for me and we'll taste this eye. Alright, good. First just start by looking right at my nose there. Alright, now could you look up for me, please? Okay, now look over to that side. Alright, over that way. Alright, now look up. And look down for me. Alright. Looks like all of that is perfectly normal. Just write that down in a quick here. Right, good. Now, would you mind just, uh, I want you to keep your head perfectly straight, okay? Just Keep, keep sort of focusing straight on with me. But with your eyes, I want you to follow the light, okay? Good. Good. Don't move your head or your neck at all. Just your eyes. Follow the light there. Good. Sort of testing that your eyes track with movement. Very important to overall eye health. Good, good. All 
Right. Now I'm going to bring my light a bit closer to you and then take it further away, okay? I want to see how your eyes focus. Distant wires. Okay. Okay, other side. Over here. Good. Alright, that looks good. Alright. Now I've got another setting on this light here. To the bright white one, we've got this uh, nice dim red one. It just barely shows up there, really. So I'm gonna, I want you to look again, right at me, right at the bridge of my nose here. I'm gonna hold this off to the side, and I want you to keep your eyes focused on me, but on in the outside of your vision. Tell me when you see that light go on. All right. On the side, same thing. Keep focusing right here, please. Good. Right. Excellent. Nice job. All right, now I'm going to do something similar to that. Still sort of tasting that outside of your vision here. But this time I'm going to hold up some cards here and you tell me which room you see. Well, of course you don't know, Reigns. You're not a dwarf. What am I thinking? I'm sorry about that. I'm, I know I have a set somewhere of of letters in common. Oh, I haven't had to use them in so long. Maybe there. Mm. Ah, here we go. Does that look familiar to you? All right, good. Yeah, that one. You know what that is? Alright. Good. Good, good, good. I might hold them up backwards, you know, I just... Okay, I know my common letters, I do, but I haven't used them in so long, but forgive me if they're backwards, okay? But, um, at least we got on me. Okay. So, again, I want you to focus just right on me. Then when I hold up a card on the sides, don't don't look directly at it, but tell me what you see, all right? All right, good. What do you see there? Excellent. Nice job. What about that one? Okay. Good. And, uh, how about this one? Yeah. All right. Right. Hold this one a bit further back. You ready? What's up? Right, good. Excellent. Backward. Are you planning on uh, stopping by the library when you get into that point? Okay, good. Yeah, I would suggest that, especially, you know. Most of our signs and things, they're not actually written in common, they're all written in our dwarven runes. So it would be a good idea to pick up a translation guide for you. Yeah. I mean, at least everyone you speak to should be able to speak common, but just in case. Alright. I'm going to take my light here again, and this time I'm going to be checking your nose, alright? So could you just sort of Lift your head up a bit. I'm going to be just shining this. Good. Good. Right. This side over here. Alright. Nothing to worry about there. You didn't feel any discomfort when I was pressing around earlier. Alright, good. Good. Alright. 
And I'm going to take the same light and this time I'm going to go around to the sides of you. Look into your ears. Make sure that everything's looking all right there, okay? All right, let's start with a side over here. Just kind of... Yeah, everything looks good there. All right, now over to this side. Pardon me. Yeah, all right, it looks good in there too. Excellent. Now I'm going to go through and uh, I'm going to gently just sort of press on your ears. Just sort of, you know, tug very gently, press on the insides here, right around the ear. Make sure that there aren't any sort of tender spots, okay? Could mean that there's something else going on if there is, so just want to make sure. Right. Go, cool, I'm just gonna gently No discomfort there? No? Okay, good. You still good? Okay, alright. Over on the side, same thing, just some gentle, sort of. Pulling on the ear. Just some gentle pressure around the ear. Right. Any discomfort in any of that? Right, good. Good, good. All right. Now for this next part, we're going to be testing your your hearing. Okay, make sure that you can hear sort of softer sounds. So I want you to close your eyes. No peeking. I'm going to hold my hands close to your ears. Okay. I'm just going to make some, some sort of rustling sounds with my fingers. Now you tell me when you hear it and which ear you hear it in, okay? Alright. Good, good. Alright. Both that time, yes. Right. Nice job. I think hearing is working all right. All right. Now, this part, it might feel a bit silly, I suppose, but it's very important just to make sure that, you know, all the muscles in your face are working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to make some different expressions with your face, okay? All right, go ahead and smile for me, please. All right, and smile with your teeth. All right, good. Now, go ahead and frown. Okay. Good. All right, now can you open your mouth for me nice and wide? Okay. Can you raise your eyebrows nice and high? Good. And then down. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Alright, you can do it. Well done. Alright. Well, I think that does it for your senses. I mean, I guess we didn't taste your taste, but mostly I just want to make sure that everything's working alright there. Now we're going to move on to the rest of your body. Not too much, don't worry. It's just... um. Just a few things, making sure that everything's, again, working as it should. So, is that alright with you if I just gently sort of touch your neck here? Just apply some very gentle pressure, nothing, nothing too much. Just want to check that there's no sort of lumps or bumps or anything. Okay, there we go. Be nice and gentle. Any sort of discomfort, you tell me right away, alright? 
Okay, good. Doesn't feel like anything. Alright, could you go ahead and swallow for me? Okay. Yeah, that felt perfectly normal. Right now, to the sides of your neck here, sort of below your ear. Any sort of discomfort there? No. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Now, could you uh, shrug your shoulders for me, really high? Good. Down. Oh. All right. Good. Now, I'm gonna place my hands right on top of your shoulders there. I'm going to put some pressure on them and sort of try to press down. And I want you to try to press up. Resist me, all right? Right, go ahead. Okay, good, good. There we go. All right, now could you roll up your sleeves for me a bit there? Just want to make sure there aren't any sort of skin irregularities or anything. Alright, looks perfectly normal. This side, please. Okay, nothing to worry about there. Alright, now, could you take your arm and hold it straight out for me? Yeah, nice and straight. Good, okay. Now make a fist with your hand. Alright, and then open up. Fist. Open up. Good. Okay, now, like I did with your shoulders, I'm going to press down on your arm a bit and I want you to try to hold it out straight. Straight as you can, okay? Good. Good. Alright. Same thing with this arm. Could you hold it out for me straight? Alright. And make a fist for me. Okay, open. Fist. Open. All right, good. I'm going to press down on it again. All right. All right, that looks good, yeah? Nothing to be concerned about the ear. All right. This one I do have to actually touch you without my gloves on, if that's all right with you. Okay, just for a moment. Could I have your wrist, please? I'm going to... Check your heartbeat, yeah, just feel, if you hold your fingers right there, press down, you can feel someone's heartbeat. All right. All right, sounds good. Perfectly normal there as well. All right. Now I'm gonna just um, I want to listen to your breathing for just a bit, okay? So I'm gonna come around behind the back of you, and I'm just gonna really gently place a hand on your back, and I'm gonna ask you to breathe in and breathe out. All right? Is that all right? Okay, good. I'm just gonna come around here then, just for a bit. All right. Now take a deep breath. All right, do that again for me. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right. Once more. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, and then just breathe normally for me for just a moment. All right. Sounds perfectly fine. All right. Nice job. I think your breathing is just fine there. All right. Well, my friend, that is, um, that's all I got for you today. Ah, told you it would be pretty easy, eh? What do you mean that's that? We've been here for a little. Oh. You were expecting something a bit more uh, gruff, weren't you? Because we're dwarves. <laughs> well, 
I suppose it kind of be helped, kind of. You don't have relations with a, uh, a people group for so long and stereotypes abound, don't they? Let me just explain to you for a moment. We dwarves, we are very hardy folk. We are very tough. We can handle quite a lot. But we are nothing if not professional. So if our profession requires a gentler hand, then we can do that. All right? Nothing ever to be uh, to be worried about, dwarves. All right? All right. Well, I think you'll find there are many dwarves that you may come across that have quite the gentle touch when it comes to things. Anyway, uh, You've certainly passed my physical examination here, so did you have any last questions for me about, about health or about living underground or anything while you're here? Nothing comes to mind right now. All right, that is just fine. Should you think of anything else, or like I said, if you start to feel yourself getting sick or just not feeling yourself, you come and talk to me, all right? By anything, really. Okay, well, I sign off on this. You are officially good to go. Welcome to Nap and Human. Enjoy your stay. <laughs>